I am basically a film star. So that was a really fun and great time. My hip is broken. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting in a different place today. I'm sitting on my bed. I have decided that today is gonna be a catch up. Today I am going to uh, give you a rundown of what's been going on. If you haven't already subscribed and you are interested in keeping up with me, um, I am new. <laughs> I uh, have videos about biochemistry, um, about uni of Bath, because I went there, about normal uni, uh, about musical theatre, about Central, because that's where I am now, um, and drama school, and life. Life as me. <laughs> Basically, I am now in my second term, which is super exciting. We finished up our skills term, which was what I was doing. Um, so if you've seen any of the other vlogs, that was basically skills term. I decided I'm gonna do a video talking through my expectations and like what it's actually like here, uh, and also about the differences between drum school and normal uni. So I feel like I'm not gonna touch too much on like what skills term was like, but we finished, we had our exams, and then we had a little break. During our break was kind of time to like zen because we actually don't have another one. Um, until the 17th of December. And then we were also working on our SIP, which is basically our project for like the dissertation that we have to do. Um, it's like the master's part of the master. So I was working on that and kind of deciding what I was gonna do. I also think I might do a video on that because it's kind of interesting. Then, very sadly, I had to isolate. So that was a really fun and great time. I actually missed a chunk of the beginning of my second term, but that is life, c'est la vie. This term we're doing a film, which is very exciting. So I am basically a film star. Uh, we are doing a sort of mad, sort of, I mean, absurdist theatre is the only way we've been able to describe it so far. And we are filming that on location and also in a studio at Central. Uh, it is honestly madness. It's so intense. It's nothing like anything I've ever done before, but it's really, really fascinating to look at the rehearsal process of something professional as opposed to what I've done, um, to draw like parallels and stuff between other rehearsals I've done. Um, we sort of have a stimulus and we're kind of working off it. For example, we all have a green scarf and we all have set moves with the green scarf but we came up with the set moves. They just said you need seven of them, for example. But that's been a very interesting process and we're basically still in that stage where we're sort of creating that material um, and that's what I missed a lot of in the first um, like chunk of the time was coming up with that initial material and exploring it but actually didn't end up missing that much because it all gets changed all the time. So by the time I did get in, um, I was essentially like working on the next step up, which I wasn't that bothered by, to be honest, because I am not one of these like massively creative, um, devisey devisey. I want to come up with 500 different ideas for the way we could do this. I quite like being told what to do, so. So we are basically layering it, and what we're about to do uh, next week, I think, is start setting things a bit more in stone, test whether it's gonna work in the film, because obviously then you run it and you go, that's just not practical, is it? So we can't do that anymore. And then also we will be starting to record some of the, um, vocals and the sounds so that will be very interesting as well. So that's basically where we're at in terms of the term and um, we're doing this film for another four weeks I think uh, including the filming and then moving on to a contemporary show which we don't know yet so that's exciting and after our contemporary show we do a showcase and that's for agents and casting directors etc uh, and an audition unit all about auditioning because then we are into the world um, obviously completing our dissertation as well the first few months of next year. Life-wise I'm just living my life. I'm trying to be healthier. Um, I just uh, froze my gym membership, however, because I just don't have time. Another fun update for you. I have a... My hip is broken. <laughs> it's not broken. Um, it is torn. I have a torn labrum. Uh, in case anyone knows what that is, any budding doctors out there, uh, and essentially that is a tear in the cartilage of like the hip joint, um, and it's caused like fluid to come out and cause like a little ganglion cyst fun uh, and some tendonitis so that's really fun and totally not painful when you're crawling around on the floor all day um so that's that update i've got a few youtube -y things coming up i'm looking forward to just continuing to document what's going on i really like that style of video i love just sitting and being like this is what is my life and if you are interested cool and if you're not that's also so cool um uh, my hair is is feeling quite long i cut it at my birthday at the beginning of may now i'm feeling like may need to cut it again I got my headshots done. I don't know if I can put those on the screen because I haven't actually got the real ones in yet. Anyway, I got my headshots done. 
I'll show you those at some point, probably on my Instagram to be honest. Thank you so much for 30k, that's mad. Um, I just saw that the other day, I kind of like missed it, um, and then I saw it and it will go. So if you're watching this and I have less, that's because subscriber counts just go like this all the time at the moment. But thank you so much, um, that's yeah, I feel like this has been so long coming, this one for some reason um, has felt like a big deal and I was like, oh, I can't wait until that happens, but I kind of ignored it because I thought it's going to be a while. Uh, and then it did, and so that's really exciting. So thank you so much, especially because I know my content is changing so much that a lot of people probably are not interested anymore. So if you are still around, thank you. And if you are still watching, thank you. I hope we'll get some new people in to join you that are interested in this new New chapter. I had a very lovely rest break time. We went and did a load of fun. I feel like we are ready to go and ready to conquer. Let's do this and I will try and keep you a bit more updated on here with things that are going on. Thank you. I hope this was um, nice and just chill, like having a little, a little catch up. I hope you're good. Um, congratulations on GCSEs and A-level results if you got those recently. If you have any questions or anything, as you know, my DMs are always open uh, and I am always also here, comments, etc. Um, to try and help. As seems to be tradition at the end of videos um, that I am kind of like catching you up in, I have a Degusta box to show you, which is just a box of food that I get sent every month um, that I always like to share because it's fun and I like the stuff in it. And I'm literally just gonna pick up and show you the stuff that I got sent this month. We have some blackcurrant Jaffa cakes. They have a bunch of new flavors. I want to say there's like a passion fruit one, um, but this is the black currant Jaffa cake. Pot noodle now does pasta, and I have two of them. These I'm excited about having just like in my in my collection uh, to basically just eat when I can't be bothered. This is tomato mozzarella, and this is creamy carbonara, and they take five minutes. Refold hard seltzer citrus. This is orange, grapefruit, and lime. It's four percent, um, so it's like a hard seltzer. Did I say that? I don't know. Uh, and it's 93 calories, so it's one of those like health health ones. Two new flavours of McCoy's, there's a Treatso one and a Peri Peri one. Smarties! And I think these are recycled packaging. I'm paper, be smart, recycle me. I got these two Limp Bars, I actually, one of my friends had one the other day and I was like, I think I might have been sent that recently because I'd already opened this. Um, I have. This is the hazelnut one and this is the dark chocolate hazelnut one. I also have botanical and fruit foxes glaciers you know they normally do mints which i love and these ones are after dark so dark fruits rich cream and caramel there was also another one that was also fruity but i took those on holiday with my dad this i'm very excited about because i really like taylor's of harrogate tea they have a really good rose lemonade flavor um, and these are coffee bags this is a new york steakhouse barbecue sauce if any of my friends are watching this and want this let me know because i will not eat this because i don't like barbecue um but it's a chunky bottle and this is a firefly kiwi lime and mint uh, revitalizing botanical drink. I've had this before. It's yummy I also got some brioche hot dog rolls and they're not here for some reason But they are like brioche bun but in a, a hot dog shape and I also got some love corn Which is like um those really yummy corn. What are they even called? I eat them all the time I love them. They have them in Spain a lot um, and the flavor I got was cheese and onion flavored But I've literally eaten them in videos before the love corn brand um, and they're super yummy I've had the salt and vinegar ones that they definitely sell in Sainsbury's. Yum. So thank you so much to them for sending this out and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>